All right, everybody, welcome back to the home bench here. We are sitting here uh, just messing around and um, we got, uh, got the puppy here with us, my sweet girl. Anyway, um, I realized that um, I've done a few videos on um, the uh, FT710 here from Yesu and the FTDX10 and the IC7300 from ICOM. And I have done best uh, TX settings for lowest intermodulation distortion in the third order for both the IC7300 and the uh, FTDX10. And I just realized I've never done one for uh, the FT710, so I thought I'd just show that here um, from my experience uh, here on the bench and experimentation, what uh, I think works best. So what we're doing is we're generating two tones into my uh, homemade mic adapter here into the uh, Yaesu FT710. We're using two tones at 150 millivolts a piece. And um, we're on the uh, 40 meter band here, right, right about, um, well, not really the center, but um, we're in the middle of the 40 meter band here, uh, lower side band. And we'll look at this on both the oscilloscope and we'll look at uh, also on a spectrum analyzer and then uh, I'll show you the settings here that I'm using. And this has been through um, a, a wee bit more experimentation than on the FTDX10, um, but very similar settings. So we'll go ahead and key it up here. We're just uh, keying into a dummy load on the bench here. So we'll key it up and we'll take a look at the oscilloscope first. So there we are. And we're running 80 watts too. So there's our linearity, looks nice. And we are at right now currently 80 watts is what we're running. And here's my basic settings. We've got mic gain at 25. Mic, e mic EQ on or off doesn't matter. Proc level 13 and AMC level is 50. And then also I've done a little bit more experimentation as far as um, our radio settings here. And if we go down to our bandpass filter setting. I have it at default 100 to 2900 hertz, and it actually works best there. We get the best linearity with it right there at the default. So we'll take a look at it here on the um, on the uh, spectrum analyzer as well. So we'll go ahead and key back up, and there's one more shot at that. And then we can look up here under the spectrum analyzer, and we're looking at 30 kilohertz wide here, and we've got nice and low intermodulation distortion in the third order so looks very nice and just to show you what we'll do is we'll go over here to the um we'll go to the, the 10 meter band and look at it as as well over here but we're just right here in the center upper side band now instead of lower and we'll key up again with same 80 watts same settings So there's our linearity at 10 meters. Oh, I can't really show you up there. We can change this uh, frequency here and we can look up here. 28.400 megahertz. All right, we'll give that one more look here. Let's key it up again. And there you go. Still nice and low intermodulation distortion. At uh, on the other side of the uh, spectrum there on 10 meters. So yeah, so these are the best settings I found so far for the for the the uh, the best most linear output. Uh, and I know there's a ton of videos on YouTube that kind of surround best transmit settings uh, for a lot of different uh, ham radios, amateur radios, but uh, you never see anybody actually show you what those settings will do and I've never sat there and experimented around with some other person's settings uh, that they posted in, in some video. I really don't want to. Um, I found what works well and you know my goal is to is to just as always just um, be able to make sure that my emissions are uh, have the lowest third order intermodulation distortion as possible. And I think these settings uh, right now that I'm using are, are what I'm going to keep. So I just thought I'd share that. Uh, if you want to copy these and, 
and uh, have a nice clean output. And especially if you if you're running through an amplifier, you know what? Another thing about these um, the FT710 that I find uh, interesting is that when you're using the DNR, um, I noticed um, when comparing it to the FTDX10 or the 7300, you know, they all sound fairly different uh, as far as, um, you know, output audio to a set of speakers uh, with DNR uh, enabled. And the FT710 um, sounded a little distorted at times uh, when using DNR. And what I realized after playing around with various settings in the radio and uh, settings on my on my speakers I use up there, these edifiers, which are just absolutely amazing for, for this setup. Um, it's not actually anything to do with any setting in the radio. It's that the people that I'm hearing are actually distorted. Their, their, uh, their emissions are distorted. And, you know, it, it could be guys just uh, using the internal um, power out of the radio. And I've heard, you know, usually not on IC7300, but um, more so on Yasus, I think, and Kenwoods that I hear. Um, this, the DNR, uh, you can really hear the distortion in the emission with the FT710's DNR. And uh, if you have DNR enabled on this FT710 and you hear somebody with uh, really great sound and audio, I mean, you're, you're guaranteed that they are definitely uh, transmitting with low third, third order intermodulation distortion. But if they are uh, transmitting distorted either via the radio itself or through an amplifier, which is just going to make it worse, um, you can definitely pick it up with this FT710. Uh, you don't hear that on the FT, uh, FTDX10 or the ICOM 7300 uh, when using DNR, but with the with the FT710, you can definitely spot those that are that are transmitting distorted. So I, th I think that's really interesting about this radio. And you know, when it comes to uh, what has been my favorite here, either the uh, FTDX10 or the uh, 7300. Um, I like the sound of the of the audio out of the FTDX10. Uh, it's great, but and so and, and it is in the uh, out of the IC7300 as well. But uh, what I find um, is that I like the ergonomics of the 710 uh, a lot better than the other two radios. I, I love the fact that the band button's right there. I mean that really does make it so much easier to swap bands i just love that just be able to hit that and its location you know versus say um where it's located there on the ft710 or yeah ftdx10 um yeah just loving this radio this has been here in the uh on the bench rotation for some time now while the other two just uh sit there and don't get near as much love but yeah um i just thought i'd share that those settings and I hope that helps somebody out. And uh, we'll uh, see you back here on the hobby bench next time. 73s.